Hi there, it's Tim from Asian Efficiency. In this video, I want to show you OmniFocus 2 for iPhone. So this update just came out and it's a uh, paid upgrade and I want to sort of walk you through the new interface and uh, give you my thoughts on it. So uh, let's open up the app. So this is, you know, I'm recording this from my actual iPhone. So as you can see here, the first thing you'll probably notice is the new interface, right? It's white, it's colorful, and uh, it might take some time to get used to, but I actually really like this over the previous version. And uh, it mimics more how iOS 7 looks like. And uh, as I go through this video, you'll sort of see how intuitive it is, which I really like. Now, the first thing you'll also notice is the different colors. It's really colorful. And I really like that. So it allows me to quickly look at things and know where to tap. So uh, it's, it's a very subtle thing, but I really like it. The other thing you'll notice is that the forecast is now on top of the screen. So this allows you to stay on top of things very easily. And uh, I really like that. So it used to be at the bottom, but uh, now it's at the top. Um, the next thing you'll notice is the count numbers. Um, so you see zero at forecast, three in my inbox, 25 flagged. I, I really like that because it allows me to sort of gauge where I'm at. So if I have a lot of stuff in my inbox, then I know I need to really start clearing my inbox. Uh, likewise, if I, if I have a lot of flagged items, I know I need to be working and not procrastinating. So uh, right now I only have three items in my inbox, so that's okay. It's still early in the day here. Uh, 25 flagged, that means though, in my case, I need to do a lot of things. So, um, the next thing I want to mention is the inbox. So, let's go over here. So, as you can see here, uh, you'll notice that uh, in the past they used checkboxes, so, but now they're circular. So, it's, it's, uh, it's just a different look. Uh, but the cool thing about this is that uh, I'm going to show you the um, inspector. So I just scroll down a little bit and you see that extra bar showing up. So I can press uh, sync and it will start syncing. Uh, if I tap on view, um, whoop, let's go back here. If I tap on view, then you can change the view and then search, which is always accessible anywhere you are, is really nice. Uh, so if you do a lot of searching, this will make searching a lot easier. Now let's uh, let's just tap on this. So uh, I have a note here. I want to watch some Google webinars. Now you'll notice that the inspector is completely different. So the inspector is, you know, in case you don't know, is sort of the the view where you can set uh, specific details for your task or project. So um, you know, pro you can set a project here, context, uh, flagging is a lot easier now. Um, and then you'll see that the color changes of the, the, the circular uh, checkbox. Um, so you notice that. And then defer. So defer used to be called start dates. And uh, it's, it's basically the same thing. They just renamed it. Some people like it. Uh, some people don't. I, I sort of have to get used to this. But um, what I like about this is that they give you a predefined option. So you see clear, later, plus one day, plus one week, plus one month, plus one year. So if you tap in late, if you tap on later, it will randomly pick something for you. And as you can sort of see by the, the dice icons there. Now, um, if you press plus one day, uh, you know, plus one week, you get the idea. So having those predefined items is really nice. Um, and then let's just say uh, later day. Uh, let's go back to our inbox. And now it's syncing, of course. So uh, one of the cool things is that um, the, it does background sync. So uh, you really don't have to worry about syncing that much anymore, basically. And I've noticed as well that the syncing is a lot faster in this one, which are like I used to recommend OmniFocus on iPhone to people, and then I would always say. You know, uh, it, it's great. You know, just keep in mind that sometimes the syncing might be a little bit slow, you know, depending on your database size. But now it's just so fast that I don't even like have to say that anymore. Um, but let's go back to the inspector here. 
Now, uh, we, we talked about defer, right? So you can have those options there. Um, now, if I go back here and go to due, let's say I want something due today. So I tap on today. And then when I go back, oh wait, I have to press back again on due, just so you know. Like in the beginning, I had to get used to that. So I would tap on inbox and I go back to the inbox. But um, if, you, if you change something, make sure you press on that bar there. Right. So here's, here's another thing you'll notice, right? Um, the color changes. So in this case, it's sort of yellow, orangish, and uh, you see the time when it is due. So um, I really like this because in the previous version, the whole bar or the text would be color coded. Um, let's let's just say it's overdue. No, I don't want to defer this. Let's say it was uh, due yesterday, right? Now what will happen is it will change to red. Now in the past, if you had a lot of overdue items, your whole scre your whole screen would be red, right? Like it would scream at you saying, "Hey, you know, you have all this stuff overdue." And uh, a lot of people get anxiety of that. And uh, it's really easy to get overwhelmed when you have so many red items on your screen. But with this new redesign, uh, only the, the circular checkbox is red. And so it's, it's not the whole bar or the whole text. So it's not as overwhelming. Um, so if, you, if you're someone who is always you know, a little bit late on things and you're, you're not on top of things, then you won't get overwhelmed as much this time, which I think a lot of people will like. So let's go back to the inspector. Let me just clear this for my own sake. Uh, repeat, you know, you can set repeating tasks. Um, it's, it's not much different there. If you want to move stuff around, you can tap on that. Uh, one thing I really like is convert to project. So here's a list of my projects, just in, just in case you want to see that. But um, a lot of times I will capture stuff and then those aren't actually uh, stuff that I have to act on. These are sometimes more conceptual or, or actual projects. So converting to project is one of my favorite features here because I actually use this quite a bit. And then sharing. So if I click on share, it will open mail. And then you can see that, uh, you know, you can sort of email an article there. And uh, this is just, you know, the action that you have uh, that you want to share. So it's very easy to, to share stuff here. Let's delete this draft here. Okay. So that's sort of the new inspector and then you have notes. Um, this is a discussion I have with my friend Scott, why I don't use phone contracts anymore. But I'll save that for another time. So going back to inbox, uh, we've seen that. Let's go to projects. Now the first thing you'll notice, again, like this, this bar is hidden initially. So if I go back and show you, uh, but if I scroll down, you'll see that bar again. So um, you'll notice this throughout the whole app that it, it, it hides that option, but uh, because it wants to be very simple, the way it pr presents things to you. So there's always ways for you to customize things, but just know that you have to sort of uh, find that. Now, if I tip, tap on the, the plus icon there, I can add a new project folder or a new inbox item. Uh, let's just not do that. Let's go to my Asian efficiency folder. Now you see on the right hand side, you see like the folder icon. Uh, one thing I wish that would be there as well is right now I can't actually make a distinction between single action lists and uh, projects. So maybe having an icon there on the right would be nice to have. Uh, it's just a minor thing there. But uh, you'll also notice that those uh, little circular things under your project name or list name, like those little dots, uh, that's just a visual representation of how much stuff you have in there. So um, if, if something is red and overdue, okay, um, let me just, let me say, let me just say that this is due 
uh, yesterday. So I can see it, it turns on red. Um, and then if I go back, you'll see that the red icon is there, right? So the more overdue stuff you have, the more red bubbles you'll see there. So it gives you a quick idea of how much stuff uh, is in there and how much stuff is overdue and due soon and all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. I like that. And um, oh, totally forgot about this. But you'll you notice as I'm navigating around, you see that 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 icon on the bottom right. So that's for quick entry. So another another you know new feature that I really like is this. Um, so you know, let's just dump stuff in my inbox. Now, if I press done, you'll just get the rest of the inspector screen. So uh, once you're done, just tap on save on the top right corner, and it will be in your inbox. G going back to the bottom right icon, um, you know how you have you know the quick entry box on the Mac. And if you press shift return, you can enter multiple things. Well, you can do this sort of the same thing here. So test uh, one, two, three. And then if I want to quickly enter another thing, I tap on that save plus in the middle of the screen. You see that in the top there? So if I tap on that, I immediately can enter a new thing, new item here. And I just press save and then my inbox just grew. By that new thing so capturing right now is so easy and so quick I uh, I'm actually debating right now if I should continue to use drafts because uh, capturing just is so much faster here now uh, in the past you know sometimes it will have to sync something first and then you can sort of tap on the, the quick entry but now you can just like have sync in the background and just tap on this thing and immediately store stuff so I really like that and you can add notes, obviously, and attachments. So that's that's all the same. So uh, quick entry. If you if you're someone who has to you know capture a lot of things, if you want to remember a lot of stuff, this quick entry screen is going to be your best friend. And I really like this. Okay, so let's go to context just to give you an idea. So again, like that bar will show up if you scroll down. Um, again, it has those bubbles there, just to give you an idea how many uh, priorities, or um, I should say contacts are assigned to certain things. Uh, as you can see here, priority A, few things, priority B, few things, priority C, very few. Uh, but business and personal law stuff, right? Um, so if you're an OmniFocus Premium Post customer, a lot of these uh, contacts should look familiar. Now the last feature I want to show you is the nearby feature here. So this is pretty much the same thing as it was in version one where you can have location-based contacts. So if I tap on list view on the top right, you can see uh, I live close to Walgreens. Um, so this is stuff you know I need to buy. And um, so it's, it's pretty much the same thing really as the first one. And then let's go to perspectives. So if you wanna change the home screen, Let's go back to home screen. Um, in the previous version, you could sort of add perspectives in there. Well, you can do the same thing here. So if I tap on edit in the top right, and then store the ones I want, and I go back to home screen, then you'll see that they're right there. Right? So you can sort of mimic uh, that feature there in this version. So that's pretty much uh, OmniFocus 2 for iPhone. Uh, I hope you liked it. Um, if you are hesitant about upgrading, let me give you my thoughts on this. So if you are a happy user of version 1 that runs in iOS 6 and below, then I think it's really a no-brainer. Like, you'll, you'll just streamline everything. Like, what they've done a lot of um, polishing up here is the, the, the little things. So a lot of um, like for example turning things into projects you know that right now is just one tap and there's all these little things that they made just a little easier um, so navigating around this and just doing stuff on the iPhone just became a lot easier and so if you're up updating and you're gonna upgrade to this new version then you'll just notice that it's a lot more streamlined it's just 
uh, you do the same thing really and you know your setup doesn't change nothing you know, is going to change about your workflow or anything um, it's just it's a little bit more streamlined you know it's 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 like you know buying a new computer that is just 10 times faster it's sort of like that feeling that you get from going through this app um, if you've never used OmniFocus before then of course I understand you know why you would be hesitant to you know hand over that kind of money to to use this app but I think if you value your time you understand how much this app could be worth to you then I think it's a no-brainer and then if you need help then we have OmniFocus Premium Post our products uh, and our training guide that will sort of help you with you know setting up and getting things up and running now uh, Omni Group they have fantastic customer support as well so if you give them a call or send them an email they will just you know help you with your setup as well and they do a really good job but if you need a system and a workflow for this uh, check out OmniFocus Premium Post. Now if you didn't like the previous version of uh, OmniFocus then I think you should definitely reconsider because the the great job they've done here. Now if it was a system based or workflow thing then um, you know then upgrade is not worth it because um, like I said, this new version doesn't change your workflow that much. It's it's just a little nicer and more streamlined. So there's no dis disruptive change or anything here. But if you didn't like the previous version because of the UI or it just didn't look that pretty or uh, you, know, you found it a little bit confusing, I think you should definitely reconsider because of this update because everything is just cleaned up, polished, and streamlined. So uh, those are my thoughts. Um, I would love to hear from you. Did you buy the new version? Like, did you upgrade? You know, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you, and let's get a discussion going on. Uh, and I'm sure the Omni Group people will watch this as well and will monitor those discussions. So, uh, if you have any input, you know, let's help them out. Uh, let's support this great company and for the software that they produce. And you know, I'm happy to say that I want to continue to endorse this product uh, because anytime someone comes up to me and you know says tan you know what's the best to-do list app or task manager out there i always say omnifocus and i will continue to do that especially with this update which i really really like so uh, if you have any questions you know let's uh, let's get this discussion going on and i uh, hope to hear from you soon